Hey guys, so I'm parked at Epcot. Before I start my adventure, I do want to show off my magic band for today. And this is my Earth Day 2020 at Wally Eve band. And it's amazing. It's green and matches my shirt today, which is cool. And I do want to meet those sisters because I think they, they actually walk outside of uh, their meet and greet today. Social distance, of course, but that's one of my missions today. Look at that, guys. Oh, ho, ho, look at that fence. So I'm starting on the right side because I'm going to try to do a pickup for some merchandise at the Canada Pavilion. Apparently uh, Canada has like some of the hot merchandise at Epcot right now. But I am no stranger to, uh, to hot merchandise at Disney. You guys saw my videos where I went to Splash Mountain a few times. Pretty competitive shopping. Favorite Disney character. Okay, I was supposed to go straight to Canada, but some other person wanted me to check out the, uh, the Sleeping Figment plushies at Imagination. So I'll see if they have them. Easy. They're right here. They are big though. All right, so the person's deciding if they want the big plushies or not, but they do have a lot of them in stock, and there don't seem to be any uh, eBay hoarders uh, buying them up, so I think they're safe for the uh, sleeping figment. But um, I want to go to uh, Canada. I think that's where all the, the hot merch is. And I'm definitely looking for this, uh, it's like a, a checkered uh, Canada uh, shirt. It's like a long sleeve for females. And then the, the other big thing are the uh, these ears. It has the Canadian uh, maple leaf on it. So I'm gonna check that out. But look at this park. It is like so quiet right now. And I love the gray overcast because there's no sun and it probably means less people are coming. That looks like the uh, construction of the Death Star. These construction walls are everywhere. So it feels a little constricted when you come into the Epcot, but once you get out to the uh, World Showcase. I'm, I'm imagining it can be less constrictive without all the walls here. But you see that? Like the walls are like everywhere. But you know, at, at least they're decorated. I forgot, it's Food and Wine Festival. <laughs> so there's a lot of food stands here. So here's what the Canada Pavilion store has. You can see the store up here is closed. And those ears with the, the Canada maple leaves on them, apparently they are hot sellers because when I was looking for the ears, I asked the uh, people, the, the cast members, and they said they weren't going to have them until maybe Saturday. And then every other person that came by was asking about the ears, so they sell out really fast. As I said, the shops upstairs aren't open. No ears. The cast member said they might get the ears tomorrow, but he, he wasn't, she wasn't sure though. Oh, my friend's lucky. They got one medium size, and that's it. Accomplished. I got this one at least. And one more time, here's my awesome Avatar shirt. Brand new, by the way. So this part, this part's kind of new. They got like mac and cheese, apparently. Not sure what else, but I have to see what it is. I was at uh, Canada, some guy was complaining that everything's closed in the World Showcase. <laughs> yeah, everything pretty much is closed in the World Showcase, except for like one or two things per country. Festival favorites. This is part of the desserts. Full seed orchard menu. The mac and cheese menu. I was expecting it to be a lot smaller than this. Look at that. Hey, I want one of those. On a typical pre-pandemic day, usually walking through the UK pavilion is the worst because there's everybody just hanging out in the in the street. But look at today, not many people here. Only that restaurant's open. And then that plus the Twining's Tea are the only things open in the UK. Cool, at least the Skyliner is still running. Yeah, uh, not much is open in the World Showcase, but anyways, my mission, I want to go to, uh, to Japan, back over there. I want to get some of that uh, chicken curry, and uh, also want to meet the, the Frozen uh, sisters, because apparently they walk outside of their meet and greet now, and uh, maybe do some rides. Definitely want to check out Test Tracks at Merchandise Store, because I like looking at their Chevy material, like their shirts and stuff. I definitely want to get a sh new shirt today. Uh, I just don't know from where. And maybe take out Spaceship Earth, maybe? And uh, I think there's a few more characters that are roaming around. I think by Journey to Imagination, I think. Really excited for them to open Ratatouille at, at uh, the France Pavilion. Don't know when that's gonna be. Anyways, it is empty here. Now, today's uh, 
topic is are the parks depressing without the big crowds honestly in my opinion no it's who cares if it's crowded or not people are saying that you need to stand in line to talk with your friends you can talk to your friends regardless if you're in a line or not but yeah look, look how look, look how empty this place is i love it like this i can do anything i want without the stress and all the rude people this is one of my favorite countries in the world showcase i walk to the uh quick service restaurant upstairs and see if they're open yeah, so this place is my jam the katsura grill i there's, a, there's two things in here that I usually get. It's either gonna be the uh, chicken cutlet curry, or there is a uh, tonkatsu ramen open inside, and they actually have uh, Japanese um, employees here. I thought they were all sent home. I went for the uh, chicken curry. I feel like I, I didn't want any ramen today. Or I do, but maybe tonight. By the way, guys, uh, some people uh, don't know how to use chopsticks. Now, in the Philippines, where, I'm right where my family came from, uh, we actually use spoon and fork there, but I grew up using uh, chopsticks. So, it's actually pretty easy to do. So you're gonna hold the bottom like this. Basically your bottom chopstick will be like a base. So, it's not there to move at all. It's just gonna be there to hold the, uh, the other chopstick in place when you have something in the middle. So, the top one is a little bit different. You're gonna hold the top one like a pencil, but with two fingers though. So, oh, wrong side. So like this. So the bottom side does not move. The top side is held like a pencil, but with two fingers though, your thumb and your pointy finger. So see that? I can do like this. It's not gonna fly out of my chopstick because my base is really hard and my top is being held really hard by my top two fingers. News though, the Mitsukishi, the Mitsukushi store is open. Some Godzilla stuff, some anime, some Super Mario stuff. So cool. So here's the snack area. Plenty of snacks, like everywhere. The Kauai Museum, and it's open. And I am the only one in here right now. <laughs> so it's kind of cool. I like this little uh, Zen rock garden down there. How do you know who this is? I'll tell you, he's a cat from the future, Do Raymond. And I only saw him when I was in the Philippines. They had an anime station there. And I had no idea what he was saying, but it was funny. You know, I used to know a fun fact about these, uh, these uh, samurai horsemen. I just can't remember what that fun fact is. It's in the Italy area. But I just want to show you my current conquest here. I passed through the UK, Canada, France, uh, Morocco, Japan, and... It's just a beautiful day. There's like no one here. And I don't see how people would complain about a lack of, of people. I mean, is your day really dependent on what other people are doing here? I mean, do you actually need them here to, to make your, your day better? I, I, I don't. It's Deutschland, but there's nobody here. Now, apparently the uh, German restaurant is open, but it's um, family buffet style. I thought it was late, but apparently there are no trains running today. The best carbs in the park. Get one of these $10 German pretzels. Guys, it took a pandemic to finally close this area down. Oh, no, it's still open. A storm coming, so I want to get near uh, Norway maybe, or Mexico, so I can hide out in there. Oh, it's starting to rain. So yeah, probably Mexico might be a good place to hide out. It's not raining too bad. I did not make it to Mexico. It's starting to rain. Uh, I might want to watch this movie for China. So this is how they social distance in the China theater. Currently trapped in China. Please wear a face covering at all times, except when actively eating or drinking while stationary. Okay. It's not raining bad, but it's bad enough where if there's cover, I'm gonna take it. I didn't want to stand around China too long. I was afraid people would start asking me, you know, like where the nearest bathroom was or why the merchandise store isn't open. You know, because they might think I work here. Finding out the wait time. Hello. 40 minute wait? 40 or 30. Oh, okay. Thanks. Yeah, it is a line for for the Frozen ride, so I think I'm gonna pass. It's a cool tapestry. So I'm in the relaxation station in the very back. I think it might be time for a boat ride, guys. Here's to be open and very small wait. Mario! Ciao. Empty. Kind of 
raining right now. <laughs> Who needs a map to Epcot? There it is. Got my my charged fuel rod. Better be Gryffindor. Track, and it's not a good sign. There is no wait time posted here, so it's probably down for weather. I was probably the only guest asking the uh, cast, the cast member if the merchandise store was open. Everybody else is asking about the ride. Nice test track. For someone who loves cars, I, I don't mind the Chevy stuff here because they're still cars and some of them are really awesome like the Camaro. I feel like Camaros and uh, Challengers are the only cars today that stayed true to their original forms. Because if you knew the old Chargers, they look nothing like the Chargers today. But if you see the old Camaros, this is like an evolution of that original design. It's easily my favorite uh, Chevy car right here. That's cool. Is this a 2021? Uh, this is just a 2020. Okay. It's SS. Uh huh. I think it's actually two SS. Let me give it a try. So it's got a 6.2 liter V8. Awesome. Is it rear wheel drive? I think so. Sweet. It is priced at 44000 Uh huh. Yep. Six speed manual transmission. Now the Chevy Traverse is pretty sweet. This Colorado though is super sweet. More remote control cars. This one is the uh, ride vehicle from Test Track. As you guys know, I do like RC cars. Guys, I'm at the Test Track store still. I'm definitely getting this Test Track shirt. It's awesome. It's got a nice um, uh, material for athletic use. All right, they are actually uh, cycling the Test Track. So they might be reopening soon, but in the meantime, I'm going to go to Mouse Gear. Mouse Gear. So this is the temporary location of Mouse Gear. And I gotta say, this looks like it would belong on iDrive. The Mandalorian stuff. And oh, look at this. Look at Yoda trying to pass himself off as the child. Speaking of the child, here's a really awesome t-shirt. The Three Caballeros. If I was a girl, I would get this one. It's Lady and the Tramp. Uh, better be Ravenclaw. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Not sure what that is. So this is where you. This is where you typically design your own car. Guys, I got the car all to myself. It's not bad. It looks a test track. I waited less than five minutes to go on. Look at this bird. And there's another one right there. Gosh, guys, I'm on top of Spaceship Earth. Look at that. Whoa! This is my first character meet and greet today. Because it's been raining all day, so. Might be the only character I see. It's, it's gonna be a long goodbye. Love this building. Oh, let's make it a blockbuster night. Tropics are home to the greatest sides of the boat. Millions of gallons each year. Watch out. <laughs> For the fish, it's another great way to produce more while using less. In our lab. It's a John Smith meet and greet. Underwater sea life. I know, but you can't get near other people. You gotta stay with me. Hey, you guys have questions as you walk through, feel free to ask them. Dolphins so much, they're so smart and cute. It's so elegant. <laughs> Thank you. All the all the walls here, they're everywhere.
Hello. <laughs> this one sounds awesome. Coming this fall. I always start off my meals with some orange juice. That's where the pizza gods cook my pizza. One pepperoni pizza for me. All for me. So I had the pizza. It was actually, uh, it wasn't the best, but it was decent though. Uh, something wrong with the cheese. Uh, the dough was pretty good. But if you want really good pizza in Orlando, I would highly recommend Lazy Moon or Giordano's Pizza. It's like 5.30. It's very quiet right now. I'm in the area to meet Alice in Wonderland or Mary Poppins. They don't know who or when. <laughs> Look, everyone is gone. Hello, how do you do? What kind of tea are you drinking? Tea. Oh, indeed. Yeah. I am expecting Bert, however, to bring a tea sandwiches or scones and jelly. The tea is set for two. Oh, my Bert goodness. Is terribly late. <laughs> Has he been distracted by the children? Oh, yeah, I, I love children. Oh, do you like children? I do. Or do you behave like a child? Uh, but probably. Oh, you know, it's not always the children I look after, but sometimes the grown adults as well. <laughs> you and Bert would have a lot in common. Oh, so I have to put a third setting up for you at this point. Yes. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. The Get... more the merrier. We just have to be careful inviting Uncle Albert. Oh, yeah. He tends to laugh his way to the ceiling, and he is, I must say, quite charming. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, uh, you know, you're quite dangerous. Perhaps oh, my goodness. If you go this way, uh, I'd have to go and find him in the crowd then. <laughs> Do you mind if I get a selfie with you? Yes, that would be all right. Tiger, hidden duck. This is the third freaking rod I'm putting in. Like, my phone kills these. Like, so bad. So right there is Spaceship Earth, right behind the trees there. But in order to get there, you, get, you can go left all around the fence, or right all around the entire fence. It's kind of interesting. Holy cow, there it is. This is the, uh, the pin trading place. I, I, I thought they got rid of it, but it's right here underneath Spaceship Earth. We got these. I heard people talk about that. Some flower and garden pins. Some more flower and garden pins. I mean, that looks cool, that, that Cinderella one. Sweet selection. Guess where this is, guys? Dang, Roman. Hey, it's Santa Claus. Time to peace out, call it a day. I'll, I'll, I'll wrap up in my car so I can talk louder. All right guys, so it's about 7.50 p.m. So I called it a day at Epcot, but Epcot stays open until 9 p.m. So I could have stayed longer, um, but uh, it's a lot of walking when you're, when you're at Epcot, but everything is so spread out. Like you can see where you want to go, but to get there, it's not a straight line. You have to go like in a huge circle. The Mary Poppins uh, meet and greet was kind of interesting. Some adults cut me off with their kids. Like, they saw me waiting there. Like, I had been waiting there for 20 minutes. And then, maybe like, maybe like a minute before Mary Poppins came out, they jumped right in front of me so that their kids could play in the maze. And they, they, they never left when I was in line. They just kind of sat there when they saw Mary Poppins. And then they spent like... They spent a good five plus minutes like trying to take pictures, but they kept switching out their kids, switching out their kids. I love meeting Mary Poppins, she's so awesome. But alright, I just want to end my video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my little excursion through uh, Epcot. <laughs> he runs like a Teletubby.